very used to measuring distance. Inches, yards, miles, centimetres, millimetres, kilometres, these are everyday units. Of these, the metre is the internationally agreed reference unit. A widely accepted early definition of a metre, agreed about 200 years ago, is one forty thousandth of the circumference of the Earth measured around the poles. Based upon this, a more convenient reference was the length between two marks of a metal bar held in the Paris archives. Various other, more precise definitions have followed. These based upon the wavelength of a particular radiation or upon the speed of light. However, although the meter is the international standard for all distance measurements, it is too small to be conveniently used in astronomy. So here we will define three others which are commonly used. The astronomical unit has a fairly simple definition. It is the average distance of the Earth to the Sun. The Earth's orbit is in fact elliptical and slightly irregular, but there is an agreement on a precise figure which is just under 150 million kilometers. The light year is a very frequently quoted unit. Imagine a torch flashed into deep space. Light travels at a speed of 300,000 kilometers a second. The light would take only one and a quarter seconds to pass the orbit of the Moon. It would take it about four hours to reach the outermost planet, Neptune. In one year, it would cover about 10 trillion kilometers, taking four years to reach the next nearest star to our Sun. The parsec is the unit most commonly used by astronomers. The definition is based upon the astronomical unit. If we look at a particular star one night, and then six months later we look at the same star again, by that time the Earth will have travelled right around to the other side of the Sun and that star will seem to have moved against the background of other stars. Using this movement and some geometry, the angles in the triangle can be measured, in particular the angle in blue. If that angle is one second, which by the way is one sixtieth of a minute, which in turn is one sixtieth of one degree, then the distance to the star is one parsec. A parsec is equivalent to just over three light years. If we examine that with reference to our own Milky Way in this sketch, and if we then magnify this considerably, the distance between the two arrowheads represents the distance between the Sun and our next nearest star, about one and a quarter parsecs. Looking again at the representation of the whole Milky Way, that is about 30 kiloparsecs, 30,000 parsecs across. Distances between galaxies are likely to be measured in megaparsecs. For example, the distance between the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy is nearly one megaparsec. Larger distances still are likely to be measured in gigaparsecs. That's 10 to the 9 parsecs, or 1 billion. Thank you for watching. There are many more videos, together with concise notes, on the website at www.physics.org.